God is constantly telling us to listen to his commands. I'm your shepherd. Listen. But are we listening, church? Are you listening to what God's telling you to do just on a daily basis, on a personal level every day? Because I think we get so worked up and we've got to perform, we've got to go out and do our duties and take care of our responsibilities and we got all of these things and we get to the end of day and we're exhausted because I just want to tell you, your responsibilities and your performance and everything that you do, your work ethic, everything is a part of the equation. But if you're doing it separate from the gospel and you're not connecting those things together, you will be weary for a long time. The gospel is meant to be within your veins, within everything that God has gifted you to do. It's meant to coexist with it, not to be separated out and just pick and choose when you want to do it. God wants to live with us and through us and in us, right, church? And that needs to exist together, not separate. Who you are here on Sunday morning ought to be the same person that you are Monday through Friday. It's the, it ought to be the same person. And the difference that you make is not just coming to get water from here and, and, and get fellowship from here. You know what's the most exciting thing about being a Christian is the Monday through Friday out in there that, that your intimacy with God matters, like for other people and the things that are gonna happen around you. But if you're not tuning into God's voice, we don't have much to offer people outside of just the everyday mundane things, right? Learn to listen out of love to discover God's heart for people all around you. Romans 12, one says this, therefore I urge you brothers and sisters in view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good and pleasing and perfect will. The seat that we should always view things from is what? Your perspective, your personality, or the way that you think, your judgment, your mallet. Where are we supposed to view things from? In view of God's mercy. In view of God's mercy, when we view it from that place, we remember what we've been redeemed from ourselves. When we focus on the sin and we focus on what we're seeing before us, Sometimes it'll paralyze us or shut us down. But if we view things from God's mercy, we'll be able to test and approve what his will is, not only for our life, but for other people. Don't conform to the pattern of the world. Don't let the enemy tell you that, that, God, that there's no way that person can get out of that. Don't let the enemy get you in a gossip huddle and you just talk about somebody and you never minister to somebody. Don't let him do that to you. Don't conform to that. Test, try to test and approve what God's will is by viewing things from God's mercy. What a place to view from, amen, church? We've all, we are all in need of a savior. And as we minister and as we go out into the world, it's important for us to listen. It's important for us to listen out of love. If we don't listen out of love, then what are we? We're just a clanging symbol. We're just a bunch of people living with truth and doing nothing with it, like I said well ago. Are you listening? 